Hello YouTube. How are you doing YouTubers? So um, I had a video, this video right here I'm going to do on colorism. And um, I guess I decided to do it because um, I've seen uh, several different things and talked about colorism and, um, uh, I've, and, I, and I didn't understand the whole process and then I realized that, you know, the colorism that's um, basically um, something that came from like Willie Lynch and basically set up the color, uh, basically it's mostly with people of the same, uh, like uh, same heritage, basically like, I think mostly colorism is lands in like certain color, ethnic groups, uh, African Americans, Hispanics, you know, like that. So um, people from Argentina or whatever, and Cubans, um, we, uh, they have a situation with colorism, and it's mostly people with, who have skin, of, who have uh, brown, brown or darker skin tones, and so um, in the African American community, and I've also found out in other communities, not just in the African American community, that the colorism is actually really deep. And I, I knew this growing up, but I, um, you know, you're a kid, you don't. You understand it, but you you kind of don't absorb it so much. And and I guess as I grew older, um, the problem with colorism became a big problem for me. And especially that now I'm here in the South. Um, I live in I'm from uh, Michigan, and so once I moved here in the South, you know, below the a Mason Dixon line uh, in Florida, I find that. And, and even like in other states, um, there is a situation with colorism. So the thing is that, okay, when I was up north, a lot of people are light skinned. They're not, a, I mean, it's darker and brown skinned, more brown skinned, not necessarily darker complected males, but like a brown skinned, medium, light, you know, caramel colored, you know, and it gets lighter than that, you know, so, but you no know, fair skinned whatever um but here in the south because a lot of them this is a lot of sun freaking hundred and some degrees it's dark it's hot in the shade and the sun is beaming even through the trees and you can't escape the sun it will bounce off the sand and off the ground and hit you in the south so you have a lot more sun so people tend to be darker skin complected even the females well um with all this um, they don't, so they very rarely will see a lighter skinned female and they'll always assume because you are a lighter skinned female that you must be mixed. Well, I'm not mixed at all. My mom is black. My dad is black. Um, but there is something down later in our line. I don't know my dad's side, but on my mom's side, my grandmother, my great, great grandmother, um, to my, my uncle saying was a, was a, um, her parent, my great, great, great grandmother, great, great, whatever. It's, it's like generations down the line, my grandmother, great grandmother, and great, 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 great grandmother, great, great grandmother, and great, 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 great grandmother was um, Indian. So that's what my uncle had already, he did the research and found out. So then my grandmother had married my grandfather, which I think was a black man. And so here we are. So, <clears throat> but my grandmother, she looked just like a little squaw. My great, great, my great grandmother. You should have seen her. She she wasn't but this tall. She about she's barely about this tall, <laughs> and she had this. You could just see her face. You could see her structure. Um, and my grandmother had some of that as well. My mom's mom still had some of her structure. But you know, as we dated more African American males, that a lot of that structure kind of disappears. So. But some of the complexion is still there. And so um, that's basically, I got my complexion from my mom. She's lighter complected. That's what it means. Her sisters are all light skinned. She got one, I got, um, I think she got her color from her dad. But my um, my dad, her dad's side of family is Shepherds, which are light complected people. But my aunties and uncle, I have two aunties and uncles that's lighter. And then I have the rest of them that's um, a brown, darker complected not dark but they're more brown complected so um our color in our family is like all different some of them are really darker 
and you know, darker complexion, but we never looked at them like, oh, you're dark, you're too ugly. We didn't never look at each other at our skin color. Uh, and when I grew up going to school, I mean, only thing I had ever had, the most, the hardest, harshest thing I've ever called was a yellow banana. And this boy, he was mad at me. We were calling each other names. And he said, yo, yellow banana. And so, yeah, he called me that. And um, I wasn't, my feelings weren't hurt because I called him, yo, black smoop. <laughs> I sure did. I said, yo, black smoop. He said, yo, yellow banana. So he called me that and I called him that. So, but I got here in the South and I've been here for some years now. And it's like, it's like an, I'm an, anom an, an anomaly. It's like they look at you and they're like, oh, you're light skin plectin. And then they'll say, well, uh, they, they, they call you red and salt you. I have a name. I don't like to be called red. I am not red. My skin is not red. My skin is brown. And I, it may be a lighter color caramel brown, but it's still brown nonetheless. My name is not freaking red. Don't, don't say, hey, red. I have a name. If you want to know, ask me. Um, or you can call me Miss Lady. Hello, ma'am. Whatever. Don't call me red. That is just so freaking... It's freaking... I don't care what they talk about. Well, that goes back to slave days. Well, I ain't, I've never been a slave. So guess what? You ain't gonna call me red. Because to me, it's insulting. Because I ain't never been in no master's house. So what you trying to say? Anywho, and then they have a... There's women here in the South. You know, these people are a trip. Like complected people will have the nerve to look at me and say, Oh, I thought you were a white woman. And I'm looking at them. So you know what? And they said to me, I turned around and said, I said, Oh, I thought you were a white woman. Uh-uh, 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 look, uh, my, my skin dark. And then they'll, they'll try to compare their skin color to mine to see which one of us lighter or darker. But guess what? They always were lighter than me. <laughs> they was always lighter than me. Them chicks would try to throw that little arm up thinking they were darker than me. Mm -mm. Them chicks was lighter than me because my skin color, I got a yellow undertone. Them chicks had a freaking red undertone. Mine was brown. My shit, my arm is, you see that? I got a, yeah, I got a golden color. Them chicks was dang on freaking red. You heard me? Red. Red. There. They had a red undertone. And they go, oh, my skin's darker. I said, no, baby, I'm darker than you. Yeah, and so um, it became they, they they would compare. It, it became a situation. So the colorism in this country is so bad as far as even like with um, I was looking at this uh, thing where they were talking about people in Jamaica are bleaching their skin. They're using bleach, males and females. They tell me how ugly the darker skin is, and I know that um, I had um, a coworker when I worked at the bank once. I used to be a bank teller, and I worked a commercial window drive through and one female, uh, she was actually Puerto Rican. And so she was doing yard work frequently. She had her parents had helped her get her house or whatever. And so she was out doing yard work, you know, she was out and she had a pool, I think, and she was sunbathing or whatever. Her skin started getting darker, and she was saying that her father told her that she needs to stay out the sun because she's starting to look ethnic. Hmm. Yeah, he told her that. He's starting to look ethnic and you need to stay out the sun. And I'm simply thinking, well, she is ethnic. So, I guess in a lot of cultures, they don't want you to look ethnic. You want to keep your skin as white as possible so you can be accepted by more Caucasians that will accept you with your skin being as light as them. I don't try to blend in with any no, I just, I am who I am. So you take this, this color, all this, this is me. And so either you accept it or you don't. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't try to pass. I don't lighten my skin. Now I do use a skin lightener, but it's not like I use it to lighten my skin. I don't use it all over my body. Because my skin uh, scars easily. I got sensitive skin. I got a bruise on my thigh right now from work. I, I, it, it's still there. I had three weeks bruise still there. I bruise easily. So I just, 
that's just the way it is. And I guess it's color, the skin color, skin tone, and I bruise it, and it'll stay. So, you know, that's, that's just part of it. But, you know, I use it for other things, like just trying to get rid of scars, you know. Ant bit me. I, I'm still scarred from that. <laughs> Fire ant. So I'm, I just scar easily, and they last a long time. So I try to find something to help lighten them or move them along a little quicker. Um, but I, I think that even with that, in most cultures and Cubans, there's lighter skin and darker skin, and they, Mexicans, lighter skin and darker skin, and they're the ones who are with lighter skin are, are uh, scrutinized by the ones who are darker skin. I mean, uh, darker skin are scrutinized by the ones who are lighter skin, and they're not, uh, I guess you're not good enough. And if you're light skinned, you're, you're better. I guess the better ones are light, and the ones who are trash, are, and they, they don't respect them, and they don't give them hold of my. But I don't think that should matter about a person's color, skin color, and things like that. It shouldn't be, especially amongst your own people. It, it is terrible as a woman of color to be um, discriminated against. Because they say you black people can't be racist. But, yeah, you can. <laughs> y'all are. We are. I mean, I ain't saying I am, but yeah, y'all, some of y'all, y'all know who y'all are. A lot of y'all are. Uh, freaking racist, um, but discriminative against your own people. Discriminate against me about my skin tone because my, my skin tone is lighter. And they look at me, but guess what? Then they be letting the good taste fool them. They be thinking because she light. Oh, she light. She... Oh, I this and that, and then they get to talking to me and realize I'm a sister, and they be like, "Oh well, yeah, I ain't that girl. Don't get it twisted. Y'all be thinking that don't don't let the light skin fool you. I tell them all the time, don't let the good taste fool you, boo, cause you got the right. You'll have the right one. I ain't that girl, but you'll find out. I don't know. No, I don't go that route. Um, they be trying to test me cause they think it's oh she's scary. She light skin. She must. She ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Hunty, this time. Honey, uh-uh, you better know. And I, I let them know quick, and then they find out, and they, they gonna leave me alone. <laughs> you better leave me alone. <laughs> That's all I say, just leave me alone. I ain't, I ain't that girl, because I ain't got to be dark-skinned. I'll tell you what. So, anywho, um, about the colorism part, I just, uh, I was just going through a thing, an emotional thing about it, because I, I, I got tired of being called names when I got here, and, um, Basically, just constantly, it was just a constant thing. My ex-husband's family would, oh, oh, we thought you was a white woman. And it's it insulting me, just trying to insult me all the time, you know. And so it just it became, got to a point where I just, you know, with, with so much of that and different things with his family, I just kind of disconnected myself from them because I, it just wasn't worth my time. I had no time for them and that nonsense. So, yeah, um, I think in, as far as in the African-American culture and other cultures, um, it shouldn't be a situation to where the colorism is so terrible that you look at your own brother or sister and your own people and you just despise them because of their tone. And you're no better than racist, the Ku Klux Klan, and you're no better than dang old freaking skinheads. You're no better than them. You actually just like them and you might be worse. Because you got the same struggle they that your your kinship has, they have that exact same struggle. Yet, like others who don't have that same struggle, you you choose to discriminate and, and be racist against them. You still you choose to discriminate against them, and you shouldn't discriminate against your own brother, your fellow man. Because guess what? He struggles just like you do, even though his skin is darker skin. That don't mean his struggles any less or any more. It don't doesn't doesn't change the struggle. Okay, so don't, 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 I just hate that. Just stop all this, this, this nonsense within our community, with this colorism. Tell me, you, you came out the master's house and we was all, we was all in a, in a field. I ain't never been a slave. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> I ain't never been a slave. I ain't been in nobody's house. My mama's house. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You talking about my ancestors? I don't know if they were in the house or not. I don't know what all of them are. My uncle told me, as far as part of my ancestry, that they were actually um, Indians. But the rest of them, I don't clue. I don't have no clue. Maybe they were. Then maybe they were white. Who knows? I have no idea. Could be European, but 
I saw some of the DNA testing on the, they did the ancestry DNA, and guess what happened? So the dark skinned people was, I had like, we had like 40 or 50 some percent European in them, and the light skinned people had like 60 and 70 percent African in them. Huh, so what does that mean? Huh. Y'all think that they ain't gonna freaking everybody in Africa and all of them, these places are darker skin and they're not. Don't get it twisted. So, there you go. You ain't never. <laughs> There's white Africans, idiots. So, anywho, <laughs> um, that was my thing on colorism. I don't know what you think about that. What do you, I mean, what do you have? Have you, any of you who are any other ethnic groups, have experienced colorism? Have you ever had your own people discriminate against you and make you feel like, hey, I mean, if your skin, because they said one time, I guess, light skin was in, and now then dark, then the darker skin was in. And it's like, I don't know how things go out, because guess what? I don't care what color a man is. He can be green. If he's good to me, he's just good to me. I don't care. He can be freaking red and white striped. If he's good to me, He's good to me. I don't really give a darn what color he is. But um, ask me. So tell me what you think, guys. All right? As my mama said, colorism. Let's stop this nonsense, all right? Let's stop it. Because we all are sisters and brothers. All right? The struggle is the same struggle. Stop it. All right.